Hey, what's going on guys? Root from NullShell.com here today, and I'm going to be bringing you back with some more Python tutorials. Let's get idle started. I'm going to create a uh, new script here. Save this as file.python. And let's get our shebang line started. USR bin environment python. Create a class here. Class can be, a. Uh, am going to call mine base. Obviously you can name yours whatever you'd like. Define a constructor, pass in the self keyword that we always need when we're creating a new function inside of a class. And we can test if this is the current script we are running. If name is equal to a main, so we don't have any import or like include problems. And then we can set up roots, which is going to be an instance of our base class. And now let's get to programming, or at least getting back inside of our constructor for our class. What we're going to do is uh, create a new array or at least a new list, I'm going to call mine self.list, and it can, uh, that can be with the values of this is a, and then list, right here at the end. So now what we can do is uh, print out the list, self.list, and we can concatenate on some new line characters after we converted the string into, I'm sorry, converted the list into a string. So if we run this, we get this is a list. Now let's take a look at the function we're going to be looking at today. What we're going to be taking a look at is uh, is the count function. So if we ran self.list and we use our dot selector to get a function that is inside of that class or the object's uh, that object structure, what we can be looking at is the count function. And you would pass in the argument that you're looking for, or at least the value that you're looking for. So we could pass in is, and it will return the number or the count of how many times that it's found inside the list. So if we run this, we get 1, because we see is in there once. If we just pass in i, we're going to get 0, because we don't see any i as a single element or a single value inside the list. If we do is, and we added another one inside the list, though, if we did is, we would get 2, because obviously now we've found two of them. So let's try and recreate this all on our own. Let's define a new function. I'm going to call mine count. We're going to have to pass in the self variable. Obviously, we're going to need the array to be working with and the value that we're looking for. So now we're going to set up a counter variable, and this is going to be the integer that we're going to be returning, whether or not we, or at least how many times that we find the value that we're looking for. So we're going to start it off at zero, because we haven't found anything yet. And then we're going to begin to loop through everything inside the array. So for item in array, And then for each time, we can test if the item is equal to the value, or what it is that we're looking for. Now, if it is, we can just go ahead and increase counter. Counter plus equals 1, because we found it. And then when we're done looping, we can just go ahead and return counter, or how many things that we found. So if we go back into our constructor and we try this out, we can print out self.count, we can pass in self.list, and we can look for is we're going to get one from the first function and then one from our function as well because they're practically doing the same thing. If we change these to look for i, once again we're going to be returned with zero. If we uh, if we look for is, once more, except we add another is into our list, it'll find it twice because it's obviously found this value twice inside of the list. So the function here is pretty simple. All this is a simple loop and uh, just testing if we find things and then returning the integer that we've been using to keep track. So there you go. <laughs> this one is very simple. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, enjoyed this tutorial. You were able to understand or at least take uh, another look at the count function. You may not have known it existed, but uh, hey, now you do and uh, knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Alright, anyway guys, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.